Hello. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Discussing Nothing. I'm very good at intros, I know. Uh, welcome back to Discussing Nothing, as I say. This is the podcast where we discuss so many things. Just just a lot of things. And they just don't mean a lot. I guess you could say they mean nothing. Um, today I'm joined by two of my favourite colleagues. I'm joined by my well-postured friend. Say that again. <laughs> it's bad mic etiquette. And I'm joined by an, my sun-starved colleague. Emma. Emma. <laughs> Recently returned from holiday. Yes. Looking very tan, if I may say so. Thank you. Where Thank were you. you? Spain. Hola. Hola. Is it nice? Lovely. Kelvin, <laughs> what do you make of <laughs> my compliment on your posture? I just noticed you're you're ready. You're sitting quite upright. I don't know. I thought I've got a bit of quite a bad posture do developing. Do you think yeah. you've got a bit of hunchback neck? Bit of a sort of neck thing going on. Bit of a quasi modo. Not going quite on. that. No. Insulting, but yeah. I think I've got that. I think I need to go get my like shoulders repositioned. Chiropractor. Yeah, chiropractor. Do you think you've got a good posture? No, I think I sometimes become so aware of it when I'm driving and at the desk. I'm like this, and I'm like, oh, never mind. Yeah, you got granny posture when you're driving. Yeah, like well, the then I and realize like and I, I <laughs> sit up for a bit. Well, it's okay. Like you drive like a granny, you may as well sit like one. Hey, I'm a safe driver. Safe. Well, you can say that. <laughs> um, today, though, rubbish segue. We are talking about. We've done a lots of things of the best things, beginning with. A, B, C, D. I thought I'd switch it up with an really original idea. I'm full of them. Today I've asked these two to bring to the table the worst thing in the world that begins with the letter A. They will both argue and argue why this is the worst thing. Maybe the other person might like the thing that begins with A. And then I will banish it from the world, never to be seen again. Clear? Clear. Capiche? Yep, capiche. Capiche. <laughs> Who would like to go first? I'm going to go, hmm, Emma. The worst thing in the world, beginning with A, allergies. Allergies. Yes. Mm. Lovely stuff. <laughs> we'll come back. Okay. Kelvin, what's the worst thing in the world, beginning with A? The worst thing in the world, beginning with A, is army. <laughs> Singular army or all the armies? Well, it can't be the army or well. army. <laughs> that would begin with T, so. Armies. Okay. Armies. Emma. <laughs> Emma. Why are allergies worse than uh, armies? <laughs> because literally what purpose do they serve? Oh. Other than to cause What purpose does suffering? anything serve? What allergies? Do you have an allergy? I do. What's your allergy? Dust and pollen. Hay fever. Uh, no, I was diagnosed with a dust and <laughs> pollen allergy. <laughs> you better, you better clear. Not <laughs> yeah. hay fever. I thought hay fever was pollen. Yeah, but then not dust. So you're just allergic to th- like just things that are everywhere. Yeah. Like just grow up. And is that? <laughs> that's what I'm saying though. What purpose does it serve other than to make me feel like I d- crap? Well, what do, what do these allergies bring out of you? Well, like symptoms? Yeah. Itchy eyes, runny nose, sneezing, coughing, itchy skin. Just a whole array of nonsense that I don't need to be dealing with. Mm. And that's just my allergies. People can be allergic to sunlight. Like, what's now, the point? Why are allergies worse than armies? Because... <laughs> Um, I feel like in a lot of instances, armies serve a purpose. Oh. You live on a, a, a barracks, do you not? Next to one. Um, armies there? Yes. I, I live in between two barracks. Mm. So you're very pro-army, if anything. Roll on the wars. That's what Emma always says. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I guess I am meant to be arguing against it, so let's go for that. <laughs> Kelvin. Mm-hmm. Got any allergies? Uh, no. No. Lucky. Would you say? What would you say to people with allergies? What, what, what? Grow up. <laughs> I saw that coming. <laughs> you know, people 
who have hay fever. It's just like you're allergic to grass. Just like grow up. Yeah, like just grow up a bit. Eh? Yeah, it's just like dust, dust, or just sweep it. Tiny wee bits. Of I can't sweep it. That's part of the issue. <laughs> <laughs> what? So it's your house dusty, so that you just no, like, I if ju- you I if you alert the dust and and just like get it moving, you're screwed. That makes it worse, but that's why I don't really deal with that. Does your better half because deal I'll, with the dust? Yes. Is he dust? Because I suffer. He's a dusty dude. Yeah. Mm. Now, Kelvin, what's your beef with the armies, bro? They're protecting our shores. Um, are they though? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Did they do anything? Yeah, they got guns and they're shooting, <laughs> and they're flying the planes. I guess, but it's just a bit of a a waste of everybody's time. <laughs> but my not my big fan of war. Um, I love war. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, there's been some great films, <laughs> some great video <laughs> games, but has it been worth it? Not really. Yes. What's your favourite army-related game? Hmm. 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 Take your time. Uh, probably, like, Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. Mm, that's a good one. You ever played that, Emma? Call of Duty? I have played COD Zombies. How fun is that, being in the army? Oh, it's f- so fun. It's exhilarating. Power trips, thanks I love it. Her. There's no zombies in war. You realise that? Yet. Well. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um. What else is wrong with the army? Um, what do you like about allergies so much? I think they weed out the weak <laughs> in society. <laughs> <laughs> like Emma. Do you think, are you calling Emma weak? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I see. Uh, my dad also has... Allergies, he's weak. What's your dad's allergy? Hay fever. Hay fever. You're calling oh. you're calling Alex, our boss, mm-hmm. his wife weak. Does have her nut allergy? Lethal nut allergy. That is weak. Like imagine not imagine not being able to eat M and M's. Imagine but just that's like what I'm imagine saying. that's how you go. That's why allergies are the worst thing. Because what's the point but in being it allergic like the worst to peanuts? Thing or is it just like get over it? <laughs> die <laughs> <laughs> just like you know, like maybe like as Kelvin says maybe it's weeding out these people that are just like oh I can't eat M&M's but that's why, that's why it's the worst thing <laughs> <laughs> because imagine not being able to eat M&M's but because of a losing, stupid it's allergy it's losing the weakest in society I bet <laughs> I can't say that <laughs> <laughs> so where did this allergy first first come up um I was diagnosed when I was about eight. Eight? Blood tests and all. Was this a big issue for you before that? Yes. Yes. I actually had an allergy attack last night. Oh, to the dust? Yeah, to something. You got cats. I'm not allergic to cats. But are they not covered in dust? No. They don't lie in the dust and they're they're lying on the floor all the time. They One clean of the most themselves. dustiest surfaces on the land. I'm not allergic to my cats. Mm, interesting. Oh, but dust is everywhere. Mm-hmm. So you just constantly sniffling and sneezing and coughing? I take a daily antihistamine, mm. which helps build up my defenses. Is that not something you use for hay fever? It's a You seem very against. <laughs> as someone who's very pro-allergy. You seem I'm very not ag- pro-allergy. <laughs> I'm anti-allergy. Who's uncle allergy? <laughs> pro-war. <laughs> <laughs> she pro Pro wars. <laughs> yeah. She's I love the army and, and I love war and I hate dust. Mm. Well, this is interesting. Aelin, <laughs> <laughs> the Aelin of it all. Come help me out with this. Um, I don't, I'm getting confused with who's pro and who's <laughs> anti what now. Like, I, <laughs> I'm, I'm getting very confused. What's your take on all of this? Do you have an allergy? <clears throat> no. Do you have an army? <laughs> no. No. What do you think of people with allergies? Uh, well, my mum has allergies. Two. Um, I think she's just got hay fever. <sighs> Again, just grass. Grow up. I think. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think Emma has a very good point that they don't serve a purpose because it's your body mm. basically malfunctioning. Mm-hmm. Um. So, yeah, I think that's a very good point. But also armies are... <laughs> um, I don't think Calvin's really said the main reason that armies are not good, which is that they kill people. Mm-hmm. Um, he's yeah, just kind of mentioned... Right. He <laughs> just kind of mentioned that they're just a waste of resources. 
<laughs> um, Resources that keep us safe. Yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, Mic up. <laughs> so, yeah, I think Emma has definitely got stronger arguments. But mm. I think if, like, my personal opinion is the armies are worse. But I think mm. argument-wise, <laughs> Emma all about the argument. Liam, I'll get one last thought from Liam. Liam, come closer to the mic. You got... I th- I think you've got some. Do you have some allergies? I have hay fever. Oh, there we go. Grass which is the again. same thing as being allergic to po- gross pollen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is. Hay fever. But I have a dust allergy. That's a it's separate a sep- thing. Exactly. So you have hay fever and a dust allergy. It was diagnosed as a dust and <laughs> pollen allergy. Do you have an army, Liam? No. No. What do you think's worse, and who do you think's argued it better? I think Kelvin. Oh. Could have played a lot better points. Mm, yes. And this isn't just because you bet me. Yeah. In the previous <laughs> podcast that we You're filmed weeks ago. Um, but, you know, I could live with hay fever. Gives me a bit of excitement. Yeah. My hay. <laughs> but could you live without an army? No, I don't think could I could. Could you live at all? We might not be here if it weren't for our Forces. soldiers. <laughs> but if we didn't have allergies, <laughs> our blood... <laughs> Okay, let's go for one final argument e- each. Uh, that final pitch, uh, Kelvin. If armies were never a thing, all disputes throughout human history would have been like settled amicably, amicably, or uh, would there have been riots in the street? Well, it wouldn't not organized organized conflict wouldn't be a thing. So, oh wow, all disputes would have been or like would have been just between like each party's like biggest guy mm-hmm. just one guy mm-hmm. and that's how all this people like it would just been like a one fight one little tussle and then mm. shake hands make up millions of civilian deaths untold suffering how can you argue against that think of all the deaths caused by <laughs> unnecessary <laughs> allergy attacks <laughs> that serve no purpose whatsoever other than to just make people suffer for the stupidest reasons think about the people that have died that way Kelvin. That's probably not as bad as like <laughs> the firebombing of Tokyo. I disagree. <laughs> um, right. So I've got it. I've, I've, I've got, I've got it all <laughs> here. Um, it certainly wasn't an argument I was expecting. I was <laughs> very contrasting irritances here. But having listened to both of you, the fact that Emma was willing to go pro-war to win this argument really just like her passion for war and uh <laughs> and w- and waging war and civilian deaths um was just a it was just a big plus for me you know <laughs> it really swayed me so sorry uh, armies you're not the worst allergies are and that was another episode of discussing nothing um hope you don't actually think we're pro-war it was just a bit of fun and games we we don't like either of these things uh goodbye Goodbye. Bye.